Now that we have most of it assembled, the rest is going to be easy. We're just going to go up to New, Part, and we're just going to start sketching. And we'll pick this plane again. Right click and make a circle. We're going to start in that middle point. This is 0.375 in diameter. We're going to finish our sketch and extrude one inch, which is the default, so that's easy. We're going to change the material type to what kind of wood should we use? Uh, we're going to go cherry, so it stands out just a little bit. And save that as the DOWEL dowel. We're going to go back into our assembly, place the dowel, and our constraint here is going to be an insert constraint, which means it's going to make a a mate on the axis and it's going to make the surface line up with another surface. So if I click this outside edge, it's going to mate it with this outside edge. But I don't want it to stick out, I want it to stick in. So I switch the alignment here. Hit apply and now you have your dowel pin. The only thing left to do is to go ahead and put something on the front of this. So let's double click on the top piece right click new sketch I'm going to turn it so I can see it and I want to add text to this so I'm just clicking text and clicking somewhere on the screen and uh, I'm going to put down Mrs. Thorne in case I wanted to give this to my wife and this looks kind of small and tacky so uh, let's change this. We can change the font to whatever we want. So maybe there's some kind of cursive font you guys like. I think cursive is a kind. I think French French script looks good. We'll have to make it bigger too. Right now it's only 0.1 inches tall. Let's make it at least 1.5 inches tall and see what that looks like. Ooh, 1.5 is kind of big. maybe just one inch. I think that could work. I'm going to say rotate. That's our text to rotate. Center point. Uh, we can pick anywhere. And we're just going to rotate this until it looks about right. And just click and drag. There we go. And this is something that we could, with the laser engraver, go back and actually engrave this into it. So when you give it to whoever this is for, grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, sister, uncle, wife, um, it would have their name in it if you have a laser engraver, which we do, because we're awesome. Next drawing is going to be how to, or next video is how to make the drawings. This one's done.